All right, Shalom, Shalom. First things first, I want to give all honor and praise unto Yahweh. Bashem Yahshar, Bashem Akrofidash, Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yahshar, for this truth, knowledge, and wisdom. And we give double honors to our apostle and elders, which the apostle elders a great millstone. To your hopeful elect on the four corners of the planet Earth, that's coming in the truth, the confusion of faith also. Uh, we in the last times, Esau's society is getting uh, put out of a uh, commission, man. Uh, this this lesson is just touching on a base. Uh, this lesson has been in my mind since this morning, and I just had a bit uh, time to to sit down and actually go into it. I just have a basic basic uh, outline of the lesson, and then Lord willing, you know, go into different uh, precepts and Lord willing, it's edifying and to show that look, the elect the elect is blameless, man. All right, it's just something that was echoing in my mind. The elect is blameless, and how we how is the hopeful elect blameless? If the, if we hopefully be a part of that number. It's blameless through Yahweh Shah's sacrifice. All right, that's how we've been looked at as being blameless and being without without blemish in front of the in front of the eyes of the Father, even though we're not perfect. You know, that's like Paul said that 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 I uh, that that I don't do that is what I do. We can start off with that. That's a good. Uh, good scripture to start off with because Paul hit it on the head man we're not we, we're not perfect even as great and mighty as Paul was you know he couldn't shake that sin so the same thing now we can't shake our sin but we are blameless but the elect is blameless through the sacrifices of Yahweh Shai that's why that lamb is is a, um, a token to cover sin that's why the, the blood would be on that seat this is uh, Romans 7 and 19. It says, for the good that I would, would I do not. And what's good? That's following the law of sex and commandments and being without sin. Because that's what being wrong is. It's breaking the law of sex and commandments. It says, for the good that I would, would I do not. But the evil which I would not, that I do. So the bad thing. So the bad things that you don't want to do, you do. So, you know, demons come on you or, you know what I'm saying, that doubt creeps in like, man, you can't be, you can't be a part of this, but it's not so. We always got to remember that we are blameless through Yahweh Shah's sacrifice. That's why we always got to push Yahweh Shah because then we can't get it on our own. You know, we can't get into the mentality or we ain't doing it. It's not by works, but our faith, but our faith will mirror our works also. All right. If we believe we're going to put what we uh, effort into it to show that what? We do have that faith, okay? So this image right here, just the image of a light body, you know, what the elect shall receive is a light body, a pure body, okay, without blemish. It's going to be a perfect body, just like Yahweh Shah was raised up incorruptible. You know, he was raised up and he was uh, uh, found worthy to be that first fruit of the uh, bodies to come, all right? And then this is a picture just of the elect shining in a, a, a room, room full of people and it hits it hits a lot that's a, just like the elect is man okay we're shining beacon of hope that's coming out here especially to you negroes latinos and native americans that's what the lord has set up he set up the elect which are blameless in his eyes now do you have a shot of sacrifice there that's why they can taste salvation that's why the elect that's why if we be of the hopeful elect we strive for that position man all right this is ephesians 5 and verse 27 it says that he might present let's go up because this is what's taking place now as if the elect is sealed then what's happening now the lord is putting the spirit on the men especially the apostles the elders the teachers to hone and fine-tune the elect that that is in here that is making uh the strides to be a part of that number this is ephesians 5 and verse 25 25 it says husbands love your wives even as the mashiach also loved the church and gave himself for it. And that's the, the all Israel shall be saved. But it starts with the elect first. Just like the Lord told the woman. says, look, I, what is mine to give the food to the dogs, man? You know? He had to give it to Judah first. Judah, the Lord had to bring this truth out to Judah. Just like it's got to come to the elect first. Then it's going to go to the rest of the nation. It says that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. So Yahweh Shah cleansed and washed us by the washing of the word. That's why he sent the comforter. 
that's the spirit that's coming in us that's giving us the understanding of what is going on, man. All right. Let's look up the word sanctify. The word there is hagazio. Hagazio. Sanctify. To render or acknowledge or be uh, variable or hollow. To separate from profane things and declare it to Yahweh. So that's what Yahweh Shah has done by the word. That's why we come out there with the word. This is what this, the word is what has separated us from the world. That's why it says you must be as a pilgrim, you know, be as a pilgrim. This is not your rest. All right. This is not your rest because the word has washed us. That's why it says the truth shall set you free. You shall know it and the truth shall set you free. Not, not the ways of the world or, or some kind of uh, um, wayward doctrine. That's not going to set you free. That's going to put you back in a bondage situation just like you were sin unto you were bondage unto sin you can be bonded unto these philosophies that's got jake man look at look at uh jake in the, in the uh, islamic world man jake in the islamic world is bugged out man they'll speak the language they'll do this they'll have the kufi on because they're they're chained to that just like we were chained at one time we were chained in darkness, man. We were, who knows what philosophy we came out of. Just like the apostles went into, the apostle asked certain men what religion they came out of. You know, we were all bonded to that. You know, we all believed in it and, and wholeheartedly followed it. But now we've been let go. We've been let free by this truth. Now we're being made partakers of this glorious knowledge, man, which is that comforter, which comforts your spirit, which you've been looking for. That's why it says in Wisdom of Solomon 5, it says I should go about the city and the streets, seek him who my soul loveth. So through these streets, that's going into these uh, wayward doctrines and things, seeking for them. But once you don't find them there, you, you you still search. All right, you still searching out there. That's why when you come, that's why it says come and rest with us. Let me pull that. You know, that's why you gotta you gotta come and rest with us in this truth. Hold on, let me pull it up here. We telling you to come rest with us, man. Jake don't want uh, rest for themselves. They want to stay out here in this uh, uh, mentality of we can make it in America if we try, and oh, we can we can get out of this situation. You can't get out of it, man. You, you're you're so you're given unto this you, this punishment, and it's gonna it's gonna seek you. This is Second Thessalonians one and seven. It says, and you who are troubled, and who's the most troubled people on the planet Earth? Is you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? You're the most troubled individuals known in the in the earth right now. You have no surety of life. Every nation got a word for you. You know, you could you could so-called look at a Chinese man and you go in a Chinese restaurant and they'll have more respect for a, a, a Edomite that walks in right after you. Even though they done went to war with Esau, been in internment camps, but they'll still have more respect for Esau than they do you. Why? Because you're at the bottom, man. It's a spiritual uh, punishment that's on you. They notice your spirit. Just like they said, um, Esau said it, in the, or <laughs> Esau came in the garden. He said, if they see me, they're going to kill me, man. Because they'll know that there's a spiritual mark on him. There's a spiritual and physical mark that he's not right, man. So that's how the Lord did it. He set him up that way. So that, that, that uh, uh, spiritual oddball that Esau is, man, is going to be, is going to be at the forefront, just like he put it on us. It's going to be put on him. He's going to go through the kingdom and there's going to be a, a rapport or a, a, a type of status on him that's going to put him in that point of being cursed. We're going to take the curses off of us and they're going to, and we're going to be blessed. We're not going to worry about uh, going through all the madness we're going through now. It's going to be a nightmare. All right. And it says, and you who are troubled, rest with us. And it's why you come in and rest, man. You, you, you uh, uh, ease yourself. When the Lord, Yahweh Shai, shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels. And that's what we're waiting on. For, for Yahweh Shai to come back and take us from the punishment that we've been put in. 
He's already got, he paid the toll. He paid the, 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 the price it took to receive us, but we have to wait on the prophecy. We have to wait on the paperwork. It don't matter if you got your release date. You can be out free, but until you get your paperwork, you don't get out of that that jail. You got to get your release papers now. All right, so we waiting. The documents are being drawn up. All right, our release forms are being drawn up. We're waiting on the, the few little words, and, and the Lord's going to make do. He's going to make it happen. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing, man. Beautiful. So let's go on some of these precepts. I just wanted to set the tone with that. Let's jump back to Ephesians. Read it again. It says that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of the word, water by the word. So that's why I said the truth, the uh, faith cometh by hearing. So once you hear this truth, you, you uh, clean yourself up. Verse 27. It says that he might present it to himself as a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So that's the elect. All right. The elect is being washed by the word because they once are dirty. But the word is what's washing us and cleaning us up and presenting us. That's why it says the elect is without blemish. The elect is perfect, man. All right. We've been we've been made perfect through the washing of the word. It says so. Ought, it says so. Ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. So the same thing. The Lord loveth his church, loveth his people. You know, because the nations are talking like, yeah, how, how can the Lord do this to his people? That's that's how much he loves his people because he don't want them to go off so much that they can't come back to uh, reality. That's why it says he that spoileth the rod, uh, spareth the rod, spoileth the child, man. You gotta, you gotta punish. That's that's why we we went through what we went through, and we went through um, slavery, hardcore bondage, because the Lord was setting us up for a, a greater future, which is rulership. This is Song of Solomon four and seven. Says, "Thou art fair, my love. There is no spot in thee." See. Let me go up to verse six. It says, "Until the day break and the shadows flee away, I will get to me the mountains of myrrh and of the hills of frankincense." Thou art all fair, my love. There is no spot in thee, and that's this truth. Once you're in this truth, there's no there's no spot in this truth. It can't. That's why it says it'll flee from from those that it can't attach to, man. This truth will flee from them, but it's gonna attain unto the elect. That's why it says she shall try her try her spirit by her laws until she may trust his soul, man. It says, "Come with me from Lebanon, my spouse." See. Because we're we're joined unto Yah by Shemiel Shai. My spouse with me from Lebanon. Look from the top of Anam. Uh, Am, Amana, Amana. From the top of Tanar and Harmon. From the lion's den. From the mountains of the lepers. Thou hast ravished my heart. My sister. My spouse. Thou hast ravished my heart with one of mine eyes. With one chain on thy neck. So this truth man. It's decked out. Just like you see something that's decked out, a car that is blown out. You got them old Chevelles with the with the um, with the blown out engine, the 450 cold starts. Those those old school whips, man. You can tell it's fast. This truth has got a lot of um, bells and whistles, man. You know that's what Solomon was saying that this truth comes with wisdom, comes with so much uh, uh, extra. All right, it says just the chain alone, just that little bit of knowledge can make you. Make you uh, uh, see things and understand things that are way beyond uh, comprehension, man. It says, Thou hast ravished my heart, my sister, my spouse. Thou hast ravished my heart with one of thine eyes, with one uh, one chain on thy neck. How fair is thy love, my sister, my spouse. How much better is thy love than wine and the smell of thine ointments than all spices. That's why this thing, you, you fall in love with the truth, man. You have to fall in love with the truth. That's, that's a beautiful way of putting it, man. You have to fall in love with the truth. Don't, you know, don't go to the truth like it's something you're doing. You got to fall in love with it, man. You know, and she's very intimidating as women come, you know. So let's keep this. Let's keep it. Let's keep it moving, man. It's a beautiful way of putting it. You have to fall in love with the truth, man. This is Ephesians 1 and verse 4. It says, according as he hath chosen us 
in him before the foundations of the world. So the elect has been cleansed since the foundation of the world. They were always going to have that atonement of, the, of sin, which is Yahweh Shai. They were all going to, they're always going to be something that was going to have them be forgiven, which is Yahweh Shai's sacrifice. And it says the foundation of the world that we should be holy without blame before him in love. So he loved the elect. That's why the elect are the first fruits. They belong to Yahweh Shai. Yahweh gave the elect to Yahweh Shai, man. It says, having predestined us unto the adoption of children by Yahweh Shai himself. Yahweh Shai to himself according to the good pleasure of his will. To the praise of the glory of his grace wherein he, he had made us accepted in the beloved. So that's how we've been made accepted. Uh, if we be a part of the elect, the elect has been accepted. Their sins have been forgotten. The payment has been, the tab has been paid. Just like when you get ready to check out and somebody if somebody uh, comes up to you and say, uh, your, your tab has been covered. Somebody covered your tab on the way out. That's what that's what, what it's likened unto, man. Y'all shot covered our ticket, man. He paid, he paid for our ticket. He paid for our dinner. What we should have ate, man. Or what we should have paid for all right and it says in whom we have redemption through his blood and forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace wherein we have abounded towards us in all wisdom and prudence so that's that wisdom knowledge and understanding that's that comforter that's what's given us the understanding to go into these breakdowns and go into the uh uh, uh deep understanding and the mysteries because that's the i was shot sending the comforter man all right one second. This is Second Corinthians four and fourteen. Second Corinthians four and verse fourteen. It says, "Knowing that He has raised," it says, "Knowing that He which raised up the Lord Yahweh Mashiach shall raise us up also by Yahweh and shall present us with you. For all things are for your sakes, that the abundance of grace might gird, might." Through the thanksgiving of many, with rebound, rebound to the glory of Yahweh. So all this is to glorify Yahweh Shemayim man. Everything that's happening now in the in the long run is going to glorify the Lord because we're going to be made perfect. We're going to be able to rule according to His will. We're going to know what 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 good and evil is, and be able to judge it rightfully. So we're going to know that evil is not something that we want to rule over us, man. We don't want to be away from the Father like this in, in, in this flesh, man. This flesh wars against the spirit. It's the enemy, man. So we, we, we're we waiting to be freed from these chains of darkness and be put into our brand new bodies, man, where we're going to be following the Lord just like we did in the spirit world as angels, man. All right? We're not going to have the doubt in our minds and sin and all these things. We're going to be made perfect. All right? We're going to be raised up incorruptible. See that? This is... Uh, Get this last precept. This is Second Thessalonians two and thirteen. That's why it's always good to take comfort in these scriptures, man. Two and thirteen says, "But we are bound to give thanks always to the Yahweh for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, because Yahweh hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth." So you believing in this truth, you 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 practice in this truth. That's the Lord setting you up for salvation through through those acts and believing in the faith, man. That's why we have no we have no worries, man. We just have to push towards that mark and keep fighting and keep uh, uh, putting our best foot forward, man. All right, we're gonna slip over, slip, we're gonna stumble, but that's a part of this journey, man. It's a part of the road, but we're gonna be we're gonna be helped, man. All right. So this is a quick uh, little lesson just to dive into it, man. It was on my mind all day. So the Wadi Yabashim Yashaf for allowing me to be able to put this lesson together. Lord willing, it helps out any brothers that need it. You know, and uh, we close, man. Like I said, the elect is without blemish. All right. So with that, I want to give our honor and praise unto Yahweh, Bashim Yashai, Bashim Kakadash, Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yashai, Barak the Yahweh, Barak the Yashai, Bashim Kakadash, Shalom, my kin, keep faith. Keep fighting, keep pushing towards that goal.